exploring the sidewalks surrounding the Morris Thompson Center, we discover tile mosaics based on traditional Athabascan artwork. This mosaic was inspired by beadwork on the moosehide slippers made by Judy Thomas of Northway, Alaska. This mosaic was inspired by beadwork on moosehide slippers made in the early 1900s by Helen Pitka of Tanana, Alaska. This mosaic was inspired by a willow root basket made by Linda Damoski of Anvik, Alaska. This mosaic was inspired by a forget-me-not beadwork design by Mary Simple of Fort Yukon, Alaska. Built before 1910, the Walter and Mary Ellen Gould cabin provides a glimpse into the early days of Fairbanks. Here, on the edge of a bustling gold rush town, Mary Ellen cooked on a wood stove, carried water by the bucket, and spent evenings with her husband reading or sewing. Like other homes in early Fairbanks, the Goulds kept their cabin small and simple for ease of construction and to minimize the amount of firewood Walter had to cut and haul for heating and cooking. Fairbanks, however, was not devoid of all comforts. By 1905, the town had a small local telephone system and a primitive electric plant. This cabin marks one of the few from early Fairbanks that remains on its original site. It exists today in large part due to the pioneer Burnett family who owned it for many decades and helped keep this part of original Fairbanks intact. This arch of antlers might also be called an arch of stories. Hunting stories come to mind first, especially on seeing the magnificent first moose rack taken by 14-year-old Sean Gover, a young boy from Nikolai. Like all the others here, each antler was given to the arch in the spirit of linking experiences from all around Alaska. Knitted and knotted together, here are memories of campfires, pocket boards, meat cutting tables, and warm kitchens shared with family and friends. Also to be found are memories of discovering the remains of a winter kill, or a shed antler sitting in a favorite berry patch, relics of wild animals whose language and life stories we know only fragments. The gift of the arch is to let us imagine the personal stories and respect the intertwined lives represented here. This arch is made up of more than 100 moose and caribou antlers collected from all over interior Alaska. How we live, the people and the land, interior Alaska. We are the land between the mountains where ancient rhythms of the natural world flow as they have for thousands of years. Our lives are part of the cadence, entwined with the change of the seasons and the life of the land. This is our story. This is how we live. Shaped by the Seasons Living in interior Alaska, we adapt to and embrace each season and these extremes that shape this land as well as our lives. Wide ranging temperatures, variations in light, low precipitation, vast expanses of wilderness. Extremes touch every aspect of life. We thrive on the anticipation, energy, and warmth created by the ever-changing world around us. Inside these exhibits, hear the voices of the diverse communities and people who call interior Alaska home.